Today we will study partially ordered set. An odd entry set A together with the binary relation R is called a partially ordered set if the following properties are satisfied. Number one, reflexivity means A is related to A for all the elements of the set A. Antisymmetry means A is, if A is related to B and B is related to A, then A is equal to B for all AB belonging to A. Transitivity means if A is related to B and B is related to C, then A is related to C for all the elements A, B, C of the given set A. The relation R on the set A is called partially ordered relation. Partially ordered set is also known as post set and we denote the post set by AR or A less than or equal to. Less, here less than or equal to doesn't mean the usual less than or equal to, it, it is used to denote the relation. It may be an inclusion relation, it may be a division relation, it may be any relation which is defined on the given set. Now some, some of the examples of partially ordered sets are number one, the inclusion relation or is a subset of is a partial ordering on any collection of sets S because it has the desired three properties. Number one, we know that any set is a subset of itself. It means this relation is reflexive. Number two, if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A and this is possible only if A is equal to B. It means the inclusion relation is a is antisymmetric. Next, if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of C, then this is this implies that A is a subset of C. It means this relation, which which is called inclusion or is a subset of, is a transitive relation. It means this is a S together with this relation is a Set. Here less than or equal to means inclusion relation. So we may write here subset of uh, also. So I have written less than or equal to to denote the journal uh, relation. So this is a S together with inclusion relation is a post set. Number two, let S equal to ABC together with the relation of the set inclusion is a partially ordered order on PS. Here PS is a power set of S. We know that power set of S is defined as all the subsets of S which is equal to phi singleton set A, singleton set B, singleton set C, a set consisting of two element A, B, B, C, A, C, a set consisting of A, B, C. This is the power set of S. Here it is capital S. We know that every set is a subset of itself. It means that this relation is reflexive. We know that if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of A, then this is possible only if A is equal to B for all the elements A, B of this power set S. Also, if A is a subset of B and B is a subset of C, then it means A is a subset of C for all the elements of this power set. Now, one more example. Let A is equal to 2, 3, 6, 12, 24, 36 together with the relation R which is defined by A divides B. Then R is a partial order on A. Now we will show that the relation is a partial order if it satisfies the reflexivity, antisymmetry and transitivity. We know that any number divide itself means 2 divide 2, 3 divide 3, 6 divide 6 and, and so on. It means division is a reflexive relation. Number 2, if A divides B and B divides A, this is possible only if A equal to B, otherwise this is not possible. Therefore, division is antisymmetric. Number 3, if A divides B and B divides C, then it means A divides C for all the elements of the set A. It means division is a transitive relation. It may be checked from here also. 2 divides 6 
and 6 divide 12 it means 2 divides 12 so the relation is transitive it means the set a together with the relation a divides b is a partially ordered relation on a the set of integers z with usual ordering less than or equal to is a pose pose set or not this can be easily shown that this is a pose set means we know that every integer is a is less than or equal to itself if a is less than or equal to b and b is less than or equal to a then a equal to b number three if a is less than or equal to b and b is less than or equal to c then a is less than or equal to c it means it is transitive therefore the set of integer with the usual less than or equal to relation satisfies all the three conditions reflexivity symmetry anti-symmetry and transitivity hence it is a pose set now when we say that two elements are comparable two elements a and b of a pose set s together with the relation any relation defined on it are said to be comparable if either a is less than or equal to b or b is less than or equal to a if any one of these doesn't hold then we say that the elements are incomparable means a and b are incomparable if neither a is less than or equal to b nor b is less than or equal to a here less than or equal to doesn't mean usual less than or equal to it may be any relation defined on the given set for example in post set z star relation is division this is used to denote a divides b it means division the integer 3 and 9 are comparable because 3 divides 9 but 5 and 11 are not comparable here it is and 5 and 11 are not comparable this is a mistake so here it should be and 5 and 11 are not comparable because neither 5 divides 11 nor 11 divides 5 in fact in set of integers all the primes are incomparable to each other and all the even integers even integers are comparable now law of dichotomy <coughs> if each a b belongs to a either a is less than or equal to b or b is less than or equal to a that is any two elements of a are comparable then we say that it satisfies law of dichotomy now total ordering relation or linear order or chain a relation r on a is said to be total ordering relation if r is reflexive anti-symmetric transitive and satisfies the law of dichotomy means law it satisfies the law of dichotomy if either a is less than or equal to b or b is less than or equal to a it means any two elements of a are comparable so for example the set z star with relation division is not linearly ordered since 4 and 7 are not comparable we know that 4 neither 4 divides 7 nor 7 divides 4 so 7 and 4 are not comparable hence this is not a linearly linearly ordered a set n of positive integers along with usual order less than or equal to is totally a linearly ordered relation if you define set s equal to abc then power set of s together with the inclusion relation is totally ordered set because we have seen that this relation is reflexive anti-symmetric and transitive in the last slides we have discussed these also it satisfies law of dichotomy because if a belong if the singleton set, set a belongs to ps and single and uh, set consisting of two elements a b belong to ps 
then A is a subset of AB. That is, any two elements in PS are comparable. It means PS together with the inclusion relation is a totally ordered set. And this is also called linearly ordered or chain. Now, immediate predecessor or immediate successor. Suppose A less than equal to B a post set and AB belongs to A. Then A is said to be immediate predecessor of B or B is said to be immediate successor of A written as A less than equal to B. We write like this. It means A is immediate predecessor of B or B is immediate successor of A. If A is less than B and no elements of A lies between A and B, that is, there does not exist any C belong to A, such that A is less than C is less than B. Now, Hasse diagram. Actually, Hasse diagram is used to represent the posits. A graphical representation of a partial ordering re relation in which all arrowheads are understood to be pointing upwards is known as the Hasse diagram of the relation. In the Hasse diagram, we represent each element of A as a node or vertex of the graph and we draw a rising line from A to B if B covers A. These lines are intersected only at the vertices of the graph. Here in this graph, this is not a poset and this is also not a poset. But this is a poset. Here, <coughs> these points cover this, and this point covers this, and this point cover this point. So this is a poset, but figure one and figure two are not posets. Now, how to draw the Hasse diagram? First of all, we draw the diagram of given relation. We delete all cycles of diagram. Eliminate all edges that are implied by transverse relation. Draw the diagram of a partial order with edges pointing upward so that arrow may be omitted from edges. Replace the circles representing the vertices by dots. Let's see by example how to draw the Hasse diagram. Here draw the Hasse diagram for AS where A is given to be 3, 4, 12, 24, 48, 72 and the relation is such that A is less than or equal to B if A divides B. Here less than or equal to means A divides B. So first element is 3. So start from this element. So we have marked it 3. This is the, this is the first element of the set 3. Then the second element is 4. But the relation is A divides B and 3 doesn't divide 4. So I have written 4 separately because 3 does not divide 4. Now next element is 12. We know that 3 divides 12 and 4 also divides 4. So I have written 12 here and we have joined 3 by 12 to represent 3 divides 12. And we have joined 4 and 12 because 4 divides 12. Next element is 24. So I have written 24 here because 12 divides 24. Now next element is 42. We know that 24 divides 48. So I have written here. Next element is 72. But 48 does not divide 72. So I have written 72 this side. Because 48 does not divide 72, but 24 divides 72. So I have joined 24 by 24 and 72. So this diagram is easy to draw. First start with first element and keep in mind the given relation. One more example. Suppose let A be the set of factors of a particular positive integers M. I am repeating, A is a set of factors of a particular positive integer m and less than or equal to the relation divides. So less than or equal to means xy, xy belongs to A 
me add x divides b. We have to draw the Hasse diagram of for m equal to 12 and m equal to 30. So m equal to 20. Now a is a set of factors. So a factors uh, a equal to factors of 12 are 1, 2 6 are 12, 3 4 are 12, 4 4 3s are 12, 6 2s are 12, 12 1s are 12. So factors of 12 are 1, 2, 3, 4, 6 and 12. So now we will draw the Hasse diagram of this set and the relation is less than or equal to, uh, sorry divides. First element is 1. So first element is 1 I have written here. Next element is 2. So next element 2 I have written here and we know that 1 divides 2. Next element is 3. I have written 3 this side because 2 does not divide 3. So I have written 3 this side. But we know that 1 divide 3. So I have joined 1 with 3. Next element is 4. So we know that 3 does not divide 4. So I have written 4 this side because 2 divides 4. Next element is 6. We know that, that 3 divides 6. And 2 also divides 6. So I have joined 2 and 6 and 3, 6. I have written 6 here. Next element is 12. So 12 I have written here because 4 divides 12 and 6 divides 12. I have joined 4 and 12 and 6 and 12. One more example, m equal to 30. Here A is a set of factors of m. Factors of 30 are 1. 1, 2 15s are 30, 3 10s are 30, 5 6 are 30, 6 5s are 30, 10 3s are 13, 15 2s are 30, 30 1s are 30. So factors of 30 are 1, 2, 3, 5, 6, 10, 15 and 30. First element is 1 here. So write 1 here. Next element is 2. So I have written 2 here because 1 divides 2. Next element is 3. We know that 2 does not divide 3. So I have written 3 here. 1 divides 3, 1 divides 2, but 2 does not divide 3, so I have written 3 separately. Now 5. We know that 2 does not divide 5, 3 does not divide 5, so I have written 5 separately. So but 1 divides 5, I have joined 1 and 5. Next is 6. We know that 2 divides 6. So I have written 6 here. 2 divides 6. 3 also divides 6. So I have joined 3 and 6 also. But 5 does not divide 6. Next element is 10. So I have written 10 here because 2 divides 10 and 5 divides 10. Then 15. I have written 15 here because 3 divides 15 and 5 divides 15. But 2 does not divide 15, 6 does not divide 15. Next is 30. 6 divides 30 and 15 divides 30, so I have written 30 here. So it is 1, it is 2, it is 3, it is 5, it is 15, 10, 30, 6. So this is the Hasse diagram for m equal to 30, where set is the set of factors for a particular positive integer m and the relation is device. Thank you.